I'm setting up a ventilation system with six inch ductwork for a laser engraving machine. And I was wondering, is it better to use a single 90 to go around a corner, or should I use two 45s to have a broader sweep and hopefully reduce the friction in the airflow? Well, I wanna test that out today. I've got my six inch ductwork and a, a Viver fan right here to test out whether or not a single or a 245 is better. I'm gonna do two things. I've got a, uh, basically a watt meter here, and then I'll be able to also see the wind speed using an anemometer. Uh, so what I wanna do first is test out the watt value of the fan by itself and get a wind speed. And then I will first do a 90 and then a 45 to see if there's any difference in any of these. Um, now, of course, you have to keep in mind that the uh, two of these together for 45s will make a longer pipe, but honestly, for this short uh, test here, I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference. So let's go ahead and try it out. To start this test, let's get our watt value. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug up my uh, meter here and get this hooked up to power. I'm gonna scroll up to the watts setting. This thing actually consumes 0.6 watts whenever it's turned off. The direction of airflow is in this direction, and we're gonna be putting our components on this side to test out. So first of all, I've got my watt meter hooked up over here, and then I've got my anemometer right over here. Let's go ahead and get the control value. So I'm gonna turn this to the highest setting. We will write down the wind speed and the watt value. 74.3. 74.3, go ahead and get a wind speed over here. 24.3, now for the low setting. 12.7, and for the watts, 39.6. Now let's go ahead and add a 90 on here. I'm gonna go in this direction. Now I'm not uh, locking this down, so the test will be pretty consistent over both of these. All right, for the low speed. All right, I've held that 12.7, it's the same. Watt value has gone up at 40.6, high value. Watt 77. All right, let me take the time to uh, get these into a 45 degree. Just got this set up into a 45 and it is a much longer sweep, which is to be expected. All right, let's run our test again and see what happens. High watt value, 75. Wind speed, 24.9. And lastly, moving down to the low speed, 13.1, watt value 39.7. And the results are in for our little test here, although it was not very scientific. I'll put my numbers up here so you can see them, but what this tells me is that the control, which had nothing on it, and the double 45 had very similar results, while the 90 actually had different results. So. I think it is pretty conclusive that the 45s are better than the single 90. That shows up the most here on the um, speed for the high and watts for the high. So on uh, the, uh, the 90, it was 77 watts versus pretty much 75 for the other two. And if we move over to the speed, you can see that the 90 dropped it down to 23.5 versus the 24.3 or 24.9. So there was a reduction in speed by about one mile per hour. And uh, the low speeds uh, on this were so close to each other that I don't think it really matters much. Um, so friction does increase as the speed increases. So yes, it does matter if you have uh, two 45s versus a 90. You're better off with the uh, 45s sweeping around a corner. Now that being said, for my laser engraving machine, I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue having a six inch blower here uh, going down to four inch to the machine. 
it's gonna pull more than enough air out of my building, so uh, it won't be an issue. But if you're gonna have a long run or if you have a lot of turns, then definitely try to go with the sweeping turn instead of a direct 90. All right, um, now I am using the Viver ventilation fan and uh, Viver sent this to me for installing in my ventilation system. So definitely check out the links below if you want to see more about this fan. All right, hope that helped with your uh, 45 versus 90 debate. I'm Seth with Land the House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.